Hi everyone, um, my name is Louis Barnett and I just wanted to record a little interview to this channel. Basically, I have been active for a while on and off social media and YouTube, things like that for a good number of years now. And as a consultant, primarily in branding and marketing, although a business consultant as general, I have spent an awful long time building others' brands, helping them shape their companies, helping them shape their futures and increasing revenues, brand awareness, thing, things like that for uh, 10 years or so as a consultant. I've run my own businesses since 2004. Um, it all started with a chocolate company that I started after leaving school at the age of 11. And I started a small micro cottage industry chocolate company, my parents' kitchen at the age of 12. At the age of 13, I met with Waitrose and became their youngest of supplier. Sainsbury's at 14, youngest of supplier. And Selfridges at 15, again, youngest of supplier. And I built a high-end manufacturing chocolate business, as I said, completely from scratch. And by the time I exited the business in 2015, we were exporting to 15 countries worldwide. We'd got a huge array of customers in the UK, uh, about 3,000 independents and, and then some big stores as well. And so I, I, I built my business from scratch and in 2008, I started to help others do the same thing. And really, this channel is in response to something I've been meaning to do for many years. It's been in the back of my mind for many years because I was very lucky to meet an awful lot of very interesting, very knowledgeable and very successful people. Um, because I was young when I started out, it attracted a lot of attention in the press. I became a really key networker. And one of the really key things that I did was seek out mentors right from the very start. So I met a huge variety of people. My definition of success might be different from others. And, and I'm not just talking about financial success. I'm, I'm just talking about the premise of health and happiness. Um, wealth obviously comes into it as an enabler for those things, but but I think really those are the two pillars that I see of, of being successful, having a really happy life, loving what you do, and being successful at what you do by delivering results and inspiring others to do the same thing and changing people's lives and businesses. Now, of course, within that, um, generally, not always, but generally there comes earning money as well. So I'm, I'm going to talk about all of those things on this channel. I want to talk about my own experience in my business, growing my business right from when I started out as a young entrepreneur, all the way through to dealing with blue chip companies and exporting globally. I will also talk about a lot of my experience that I've gained within consulting. I've been a speaker uh, for 15 years so I'm going to be talking about that as well. Speaking skills. I've done a lot of speaker training and coaching over the years as well. So this really is a, a kind of mind dump for me, but also serves as a place for the ICO podcast. Um, ICO is a system that I've used for many years. It stands for inspiration, knowledge and opportunity. And I feel that those are the three premises of becoming more successful, growing your knowledge, and then being able to take the opportunity to the next stage to change your life or your business. And so the ICO podcast is centered around in interviewing interesting, unusual, creative and fantastic people that I've been so lucky to meet. And I just want the world to be able to meet them as well. So I've already recorded a number of podcasts already. I've got a lot more guests booked in. They're not going to be hugely regular. I think at the moment, what I really want to focus on is getting the right people. I don't just want to fill time with people every single day or every couple of days. So to start with, this is probably going to be a weekly release. If I get some particularly interesting and exciting guests, I might do two a week. So upcoming, I've got a very dear friend of mine, Phil Escott, who healed his psoriatic arthritis by using a very, very unconventional diet method. And he tells us all about that. Um, 
I've got a, a a friend who I met a number of years ago who actually did some filming with me called Tom Rowland and he has achieved amazing things in in his career and he spends his life and earns a living making films about wildlife all around the world so again he's going to tell me and us all about how he's done that what it's really like to be in that industry and then I interviewed Nancy Turner, an ethnobotanist, last night who I met in Canada. I was uh, travelling Canada with my girlfriend last year in 2018. We were there for about two and a half months and we met Nancy doing a pit cook, which was a traditional method of cooking and preparing food. Uh, When we went, it was vegetables and salmon, but she'll tell you how they used to use that to prepare many other things as well so you can see already I've got a a diet and nutrition expert I want of a better words to call him Um, although Phil is much much more than that and we've had um, a very very long chat on the podcast so I I do pre-warn people about that one it is a long one but um, I could probably talk to Phil for eight hours so we stopped at about two and a half which I was pretty happy with Um, Tom obviously the wildlife filmmaker, and Nancy, who's an ethnobotanist. And there are a huge variety of people that I'm going to bring on to the podcast. I try not to be too formatted in my way of doing it and interviewing people. I just like almost for it to be as if it was a conversation between us, sitting in a house with a cup of tea or at a coffee shop or in a business meeting and the conversation just flowing. And that's what I really want from this podcast. I I just want things to flow. I want to be able to then, as this podcast hopefully gains a little bit of viewership, um, although I'm uh, not really that fussed how many people I get. It's more about the quality and what I would love people to do once I've done a few of these, to start feeding some questions to me as well so that people who are listening can get the most out of listening to these people and the people that I'm going to interview. So I just want to say thank you so much. If you're watching this, if you're listening on audio, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be releasing the podcasts, as I said, every week. And then as and when I get time and to really think about some of the topics that I want to do, My aspiration is to spend the next two years turning everything that I know, uh, my 15 years of experience in business, into videos and audio for people to listen to. And um, I'm going to give it all away for free. And now that sounds like some kind of sales tactic or or something like that, I'm sure. There's a lot of people on the internet who say things like that and then, oh, well, and visit my website and here's a voucher code for my coaching or consultancy or something. But um, honestly, my, my day job, I earn money through consulting businesses in marketing and branding primarily, although I do many other things as well. Um, but that's where I earn my money. So I, uh, I've really set out an aspiration that I don't need to turn YouTube into a job, although it would be nice in some way, shape or form in the future for me able to work more remotely in my career. But for now, my job is my job and I love what I do. And I just want to help other people as when I started out, I realized the importance of mentors, the importance of having good and great people around me who could help, who could help to give me what I really needed. And and that's where I developed the ICO principle, the inspiration, the first starting point, the spark, the idea, the creativity, the excitement of first having an idea or a concept and then turning it into something real, changing your life, leaving a job, or even the difference between entrepreneurship and intrapreneurship, you know, working on your own self-employed, creating your own business, or actually taking those principles, working within a company. That also requires inspiration to work differently within an organization. Um, The knowledge is I think the largest part of it, really gaining that knowledge, knowledge is power to give you the ability to do what you need to do, find out what you need to find out to be able to make it happen. And then, of course, the opportunity is the final part 
is actually doing something with it, which is the key thing. Um, Buddha said there were three forms of knowledge, listening, understanding and doing. And so ICO follows those principles. The opportunity is the most important thing because it is up to you to do something with it. And all I and others can do is help give people the tools to use. And I hope that within these thoughts and podcasts, you can help to find the inspiration, knowledge to actually change what you're doing at the moment and take up the opportunity to do something differently and of course that is up to you so thank you so much for listening this was just a short introduction Um, I really enjoy um, speaking to people and getting in contact so if anyone wants to contact me through social media I'm on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook you know however you'd like to do it please reach out to me I'd love to hear from you and I look forward to Uh, hearing from all of you in the future and I really hope that you all enjoy these videos and, and this podcast that I'm going to produce.